30 minutes left. <laughs> 25 and climbing at the moment, so about 30 minutes left. Now, I remember a little while ago I did something with a guitar, a bit of a a bit of a skit with a guitar with some Jack Daniels, and a couple of people came out and accused me of that looks like it's tea. I, I can assure you it wasn't. <laughs> now, I'm always... I like spirits, okay? I, I do. I, I, I like whiskey, sour mash whiskey, whether it's a Scotch, America, Canadian, Irish, whatever, I don't care. And I like trying new ones. And where I shop, I've noticed some products I haven't seen before. So I decided to buy some. Bullet bourbon, Kentucky. Kentucky straight bourbon. Now, I've never had this before in my life. As you can see, it's still sealed. So, let's see about picking this seal if I can. Aha, looks like I. Standard kind of stuff there, bruv. Standard kind of stuff. Ooh. Now, that's something I like. That's proper stuff, that is. Now, it was explained to me once why you have bottles this shape. Now, this is how it was explained to me. I'm not saying I am factually accurate, but this is how it was explained to me. The reason they are this shape is so they fit in your saddlebag. Hmm. I like bottles like that. I really do. <laughs> but I'm curious. Should I be civilised with a shot glass, or should I drink it how it's supposed to be drunk? That's actually really nice. <laughs> that is actually really nice. If you like, now I know this is Kentucky before anybody gets all emotional, if you like Jack Daniels, definitely get some bullet bourbon. Now there's two, there's a rye mash one which is a green label, and there's this one, which is uh, an aged one, uh, the orange label as you can tell. Get this one. Seriously, this is actually really, really nice yeah that is nice so now you cannot accuse me of drinking tea you just watched me <laughs> I wonder if it affects the way I play um Resist. I'm sorry, I could not resist doing that. <laughs> it was it was just building inside me the entire time I was thinking about doing this. I was like, oh, I've got to do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. But at least I didn't do Sweet Home Alabama. So. <laughs> yeah, because that would be a bit wrong, wouldn't it? Last time I checked, anyway. But, no, I mean... I'm just responding to a, to the shift confirmation for tomorrow. Man, many apologies, many apologies, many apologies. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's actually really, really nice. That has got a really... vanillary kind of flavour to it. I'm glad I bought that, man. That's really good. Seriously, straight up. If you are into Jack, and there is nothing wrong with Jack, don't say anything against Jack, alright? If you're into Jack, definitely, definitely buy this. Beyond shadow of all reasonable doubt. Because that's actually really, 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 really nice. Let all the kids watch it at home. One day you'll be able to do that. 
but at the moment you shouldn't. The reason being is that, and parents probably have said other things to you on this one, but the primary reason is that when you are a child, parts of your interior haven't developed to where they should develop to yet. It's all part of growing. It's why you get the growing pains and things like that. We've all been there, we all know it, you're going through it. The thing is, when it comes to this kind of stuff, Granny may have put a tiny, tiny drop in your milk to help you with your teething when you were younger to put you to sleep. But until you start getting a bit bigger, and your parents will tell you when that is, and your parents are always correct, always, you should not touch this because it will hurt you. Once you become an adult, fine. But your parents know exactly how big, how old you need to be. So you need to listen to them when it comes to stuff like this. It's all fun and games watching me do this, but I'm 32. I'm ancient. I'm a dinosaur. But always remember, your parents do know a lot more than you give them credit for. I guarantee it. But this, to all the parents now watching, get this seriously. I, I, I'm, I could drink this all day. I mean, really, I could. It's not one of those ones that you could down. I mean... I could see this kind of becoming, if you try and down it, it's going to cause you a couple of um, regurgitation issues. <laughs> but that's really good. Now, considering I've been drinking, let's talk about cars. <laughs> Just to really annoy some people. Now, there's some brochures. Oh. Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento, and we stopped in at fault. Now, I... When we went shopping, we went to Ipswich, and I stopped in at Folds to show Bert why I don't buy Folds. Unfortunately for me, not only did they have a Mustang in, but all-time favourite car. They had one on demonstrator, but you're not allowed to test drive it unless you are a serious bummer, and you have to be able to prove you can afford it. But not only that, but they had that. Now, I am not a fan of Fold. That's the Fold Edge, if you're curious. I'm not a fan of Fold. I haven't been for many years. Older Folds, yes. Modern ones, mm, they're just so... Ugh, aren't they? they? They really are. They're just... Is no imagination to them. Now, that's not to say that the Focus ST and things like that are not good vehicles, they are, but virtually everybody I know who owns a Focus ST has done extensive work on it, improving it. Well, if it was that good to begin with, why are you improving it? But this, now obviously I'm planning on starting a family, so my brain is now in a different league. But this. We had a shifty. I don't know how well that camera's going to pick that up. But we had a look inside it. And we sit in it, and you, you bugger about with it. It's actually really nice. The only downside I've got to this vehicle is it's a two litre diesel. And I don't know why Ford are doing it. Everywhere else, they've just created all of these lovely new engines, two twos things like that, or slightly bigger engines but way more efficient, uh, bits more. Ford are just creating, well the, the 2 litre diesel, to, to be fair, the 2 litre diesel that Ford use has been around since, or well, Moses to be fair, um, but it's an all wheel drive, the engine that I was looking at was a 2 litre, I don't know what other engines come in this. Um, because it doesn't seem to have 
You know how a lot of brochures have the the choice. You, you get, you've got like your colour charts, haven't you? And you've got like your um, your interior bits and bobs and things like that. It doesn't seem to have that for the engine. And everywhere I look, they all seem to be two litre diesels. So it's almost like you don't get a choice. Oh yeah, you do. You've got. A two litre Duratorque, a two litre Duratorque, a two litre Duratorque, and a two litre Duratorque. You have four choices, they're all two litre Duratorques. And people say, why don't you buy Ford? Because they give me choices in engines, but it's a bit like the old days where they said you could have any colour you want, as long as it's... <laughs> Anybody who said black, there's an alarm gone off behind you. <laughs> but... I, I, to be fair, I, let's, let's, have a, let's have a look at what they write down. Let's have a look at all the lines, shall we? Uh, you've got stage 6 DPF. Euro stage 6 DPF. DPF, D, they're all DPF. Your power. 132, 154, 132, 154. Now I'm going to hazard a guess. That's horsepower because it's in the bracket. Oh no, no, that's a kilowatt, sorry. So that's a kilowatt. Your PS, usually with PS you take about one away for the horsepower, I think. So it's 182, 10, 182, 10. There we go. If you're really into power, then the torque newton meters is 400 to 450. See, this is the thing. They give you four different engines, okay? Four, four different engines. I'm not making that up. Four different engines. And... There's no real difference. You've got one that's 400, one that's 450, one that's 400, one that's 450. You've got an 180, a 210, 108 and a 210. They're all stage 6, they're all DPF. They're all 4x4. Four four. Maximum speed, 124, 131. 124, 131. Who saw that coming? And then you know up to 62. 9.9, 9.4. Guess what? 9.9, 9.4. Why are they giving you four choices... There's only two. But yeah, I, I went into Fold to prove why I don't buy Fold. And then I saw this. And I have to admit, I know that the Edge is an American import. And I'm an American in an Englishman's body. But I have to admit, it's a nice car. It's, well, the one I was looking at was 36,000. Um, Not that I'm going out and buying one before anybody gets emotional and starts... Throwing the toys out the pram. But anyway, we went and had a look at that. And then, on the way back, I said, why don't we stop in at Kia? Now, we've stopped in at a few other places. We went into Vauxhall. What a big mistake, a waste of time that was. What has happened to Vauxhall? Actually, Vauxhall were never that good, were they? <laughs> but we went in and we looked at the coffee. You know, the Vauxhall coffee? The, the mocha? And... How plastic fantastic is that? Seriously. How is it? It's horrible. I, I, I seriously mean that. I mean, I can understand it from Dacia. You know, because Dacia's a cheap, cheerful, it's really cheap. It's, there you go. But the coffee is... I refuse. I refuse to start calling Vauxhalls by the names they're running under these days because it's just pathetic. The coffee is just so... horrible. And you pay through the nose for it as well. It's all like... Ugh. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. And I don't like random fires, so I don't really like the Zafira. Now, I had a look at the Sportage. We went into the Kia on the way back. There's one just at Freeport, just down the road from us. And I have to admit, it's not a bad car. It's got a flappy paddle. I'm a flappy paddle. <laughs> okay, that is a, a, a specific model that has this flappy paddle. I didn't ask which one because I'm an idiot. But it's actually not bad. But then we came across the new generation Sorento. Now the one we were looking at was 40 grand, it had all the gubbins in it. It was just over 40,000. And do you know something? I know it's a Kia. 
and I know this goes against everything that somebody in Takar should ever say but it isn't half nice straight up it's a really nice car it's amazingly practical it's a seven seater if you're curious admittedly when you get the back two seats up your boot is about that deep you know but it's a really nice car I, the reason I sound so astounded is because I am I genuinely am amazed by the car I don't, again, I really don't know how this camera's picking all of this up, so if it's not picking up too well, many apologies. But, it's, I really, it, I was stunned by it. Because, it, 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 I know Kia from old. Th this is the thing with Hyundai and Kia. I know them from old. I know the old Hyundai Getzes and the old Kia Picantos and the old Sportages, you know, those horrible hate-filled bleeding things. And the new ones. Damn. It's straight up, I mean, damn. They, they are they're really good. I want one. Which is a problem. Because myself and Bert do share a few things in common. We're obviously in a relationship. Um, we we both have addictions when it comes to car buying. And yeah, I want one of these. <laughs> and I am doing everything in my power to stop myself from having a discussion with the salesperson about how to go about getting one. Obviously, I know you paid money in that, but please understand, I haven't had the Hyundai's long enough for them to be worth more than I owe on them. That's what I mean. But it's a really nice car. The back end's a bit... Mm, but it's it's a practical back end. It's a square back end. It's not a rounded back end. It's... You open that boot, and... It's like the old Volvo Estate. You get what you need in it. So having a square, kind of, almost unfinished back end is perfectly fine. Because it's, well, it's a utility vehicle, really. It's an SUV, obviously. But it's an all-wheel drive again. It's, it is good. I, I was really taken with it. And I never expected to walk into Kia and come out saying, I'm really taken with the Kia. Because look at them. I mean, I seriously, look at them. I mean, what the hell's going on with the Sportage? I hate the name Sportage in the first place. I mean, seriously. But the, the fog lights, again, I don't know if that's picking out, but the fog lights, basically a noughts and crosses thing. It's, I don't mind the interiors on them, but they're a bit naff. They're, they're a bit... Mm, mm. And most Kias I look at and go... Mm. But then you've got the, sport, uh, the Sorento, sorry. And it's a good car. It's a very good car. But anyway, that's the other stuff I wanted to chat about. I've still got 30, it's still 29 minutes, 9, 8. Do you want to know how big this file is? 1.21 gig. And this is part one of my... Wednesday material because I'm running a bit behind obviously I didn't upload last night uh, I didn't get in till nearly 4am <laughs> but hmm, it's going to take a while of editing today I think yes anyway I'm going to enjoy myself and see how far through this I can get before I fall on my face and I shall continue to edit. I shall see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. Sorry that I forgot the cameras yesterday. That was just so dumb. Because there were some spectacular accidents that I would have edited in. Not that you actually saw them kabang, but you saw the 
after effects. And there were a couple of spectacular ones, I'll tell you that. And it had to happen the day I forgot my cameras, didn't it? Everything fun. If I'd have had my cameras yesterday, you know, to get back to explain why things took so long, I'd have just gone playback. I'd have just been like, there you go, watch. Speed up that bit, watch. You, you know, I'd have had everything. I'd have been like, I am covered on this one. I am covered. And the day, the one day since I've been doing this, I forget my cameras. But anyway, I'm going to sort about with my guitar, drink some of this, finish off that, and I shall see you in the next one. So thanks for watching, thanks for bearing with me today. I know it's been a, an arduous one of me sitting here chatting. Um, but like, subscribe, share about, do whatever it is you usually do. I'll see you in the next one, which like I said, is going to be tomorrow. And uh, cheers, guys. Oh, actually, sod it. <coughs> cheers, guys.